Welcome. In this video, we are going to consider one of the questions under the Newton's laws of motion. And in this problem, we are going to consider Newton's second law of motion. So in this video, we are going to find the coefficient of kinetic friction that is between an incline or an inclined plane and the block. So the question says, a force of 500 newtons pushes a box of 25 kg shown in the figure below. So we have this force that is, gi that is giving this uh, block of 25 kg an acceleration of 0 0.7 meters per second squared. So the incline that we have here, we have uh, the 40, the 40 degrees as an angle that has been given here. Now, the question here says, show that the coefficient of kinetic friction between the box and the incline the plane is 0 0.41. So this is the question that we're going to consider. But before we proceed, it is so much important that we come up with a free body diagram uh, for, this, uh, for this box and for this force. So from here, what we're going to do is we are going to come up with a free body diagram that is going to help us to come up with the formulas or rather to derive some expressions that are going to help us to find the coefficient of kinetic friction. This is the free body diagram for this question where we have this one, the force that is giving this block an acceleration of 0 0.75 meters per second squared. So it is uh, pushing this box or rather this uh, block at this angle and this angle and this angle are equal. Also this one, which of which we know that if this is the mass, this the mg acts right downwards uh, or definitely downwards. And then we have for the twisted coordinates of this. So if this is the mg and we have the normal force acting here and then the mg cos theta is right here. Then the mg sin theta. So here is the mg sin theta, which is also equal to this one. Okay, so this is also the mg, uh, the mg sin theta. So since the block is going in this direction, the force that is opposing the motion of the block. So from here, for easy understanding, we are going to resolve this separately. So we are going to resolve uh, this force in X and Y components, and also this one, which is on this incline in X and Y. So we have a scenario like this one, which is coming like this. So then we have this one and the Y component in this one. So we have the theta here, and we have the force here. So here, according to Sokatoa, according to Sokatoa, so Katoa, we have this one, sine, sine theta is equal to Fy over F. So the Fy is equal to F sine theta. The adjacent, which is Fx over the F. So Fx will give us F cos theta. So this is asterisk 2. So we, we, these are just in the components, the X and Y components. So this one becomes, so this is 40 degrees, and then we have the 500 newtons. So here we have the 500 newtons sine 40 degrees, and then here we have the 500 newtons cos 40. You're going to have this one, it is inclined at an angle, 40, we have this one, and then, so this is the block, then we have the weight, which is the mg here, then we have the normal force that goes, that, that, that acts on a block, then we have this angle here, and in the twisted coordinates, this one, it is going to be the mg cos theta. Then we're also going to, we are, we are going to have also this one, which is the mg sine theta. And since acceleration, since the, 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 the force is pushing the object, giving it some acceleration here, so we have this one as acceleration. So since the, since the, the, the block is going in this direction, the friction force is going to be in this direction. So from here, from these two, so from this one and this one, what we're going to do is we just need to come up with the expressions that are going to help us to find the coefficient of kinetic friction. So asterisk one and two, these are the forces that we were just resolving for 500 newtons. So from here, let us know that the summation of forces must give us MA. The summation of forces 
in y is equal to m a y so since we don't have the movement since the block is not going in the y direction but it's going in the x direction in the y direction a is equal to zero so from here what we can do is the summation of forces in y is equal to zero so in y we have this one which is the n we have the n which is going upward then we have uh the mg cos theta here minus mg cos theta and then from here we also have minus so since it is pointing downwards minus 500 sine 40 so this must give us a zero so from here we can say n is equal to mg cos theta plus 500 sine 40 let us call this as equation number one. So for equation number, we also know that summation of forces in x is equal to ma in the x direction. So in the x direction, so for the twisted coordinates, we have this one. And in this one, as cos in x, so we have the 500 newtons cos theta, of which we have the theta is 40. So this one minus, so this one, it is coming in this direction, mg sine 40 degrees. So even this one minus fr1, this must give us ma. So from here, so we know that fr, which is the friction force, is given by fr new times the normal force it is from this new n so newton's cos 40 minus mg sine 40 minus so the new n is equal to ma so from here we can even write it like this 500 newtons cos 40 minus mg sine 40 so degrees degrees here when this one comes this side we're going to have minus ma is equal to mu n so from here we can write by n even here by n so that this and this are going to cancel we're going to have the mu but in this case since it's the coefficient of kinetic free chain we can even give it a subscript k so from 500 newtons cos 40 degrees minus mg sine 40 degrees minus ma ma over n so let us call this as the equation number two equation number two so now equation number one in two in two two what we're going to get is so we're going to get if we plug in the values, if we plug in the values, so for the theta, also for, for theta, even here, let us put the values. We have is 0 0.4108. So from here, we can also round it off to 0 0.41. So this is the coefficient of kinetic friction that must be between an inclined plane and the block. Thank you so much.